What kind of douchebag, and I mean a special douchebag, goes to watch a comedian? And not just any comedian. Joe Lysett is a very well-known comedian here in the UK. He has that dash of wokeness about him and the things he jokes about, but not too much. Unlike most other left-wing comedians, his whole routine isn't just anti-Brexit, anti-Tory, Boris Johnson, Trump, etc, etc. He is a rare comedian whom... He tells a very long story, a bit long-winded, but the punchline at the end is absolutely brilliant. I would have no problem going to watch Joe Lysett, and if he takes the piss out of me and my political opinions, then I'd laugh alone because I haven't got a chip on my shoulder. And he is literally doing it just for laughs. He isn't pandering to the Twitter hysterical hate mob. Anyway, I digress. So, some special douchebag went to see Joe Lysett where he was doing stand-up comedy, and they were so offended by his jokes, or one of his jokes, that they left and called the police. It's like going over to a beehive without wearing the special protective clothing and then crying because you got stung. I really wish these people, and I think it was a couple, I really hope these people are named and shamed. But the worst thing about this is that the police actually took their complaint seriously. Now, if I was the police sergeant at the desk and... These morons turned up and said, oh, Joe Lysett said a joke. It was very offensive. Can you go and investigate it? I'm offended. I would either A, tell them to about turn and fuck off out the door, or B, charge them with attempting to waste police time. In fact, I do both. I tell them to fuck off out the door, and then I'll have a copper outside waiting for them, put them in cuffs, and then charge them for wasting police time. Now, I know the police like to, and there's a few coppers out there who really do have a chip on their shoulder and think they are they are mini Hitlers with power. And they love this kind of thing. They, they get off on policing people's feelings. But this takes the biscuit. But thankfully, it didn't go any further. And the investigating officer had some common sense, just dropped the whole thing. And so in response, and in true Joe Lysett fashion, he put out a statement, it's quite funny. And he said... So someone came to my tour show a few weeks back and was offended by one of the jokes. And their perfectly understandable response to this was to call the fucking police. To be fair to them, the furs were very nice about it all, but felt they had the duty to investigate. This involved me writing a statement explaining the context of the joke for them. I particularly enjoyed putting the words giant donkey dick into a message to a police detective. <laughs> Charmed and hopefully amused, the Rosers have since closed the matter. You'll be pleased to know that the joke, which I consider to be one of the best I've ever written, remains firmly and proudly in the show. The tour continues until September, unless I am jailed. Now, there are people out there who run to the police every time they see something offensive. Are these the same people who police social media sites, ladies and gentlemen? There are hateful, lonely little Marxists out there who keep dossiers on <laughs> right-wing conservative social media accounts. And then they take him to the coppers and then they run to the police station as fast as their short, dumpy, fat little legs can carry them. And when they get there, they point to a diagram where the, uh, um, the right wing conservative social media user hurt them. These people exist, folks. These people fucking exist. They are among us and they need to be named and shamed. Now, if I was Joe Lysett or if I was a, a, a true comedian and a popular one, I would have these people's faces pinned to the entrance of my show with a little note underneath uh, telling my audience what they did and why. I mean, this is pathetic. It's ridiculous. This is the state of Britain today, or the West in general, where self-righteous, easily offended idiots feel they have a right to go to a police station and report a comedian for telling jokes. And I hope to God these idiots have booked a ticket for... Roy Chubby Brown's tour, if he does tour again, because they're in for a fucking shock, and I'd be very interested to know what these people look like, because these lefties, they, they all look the same. Why do they always look like that? I bet they're probably, uh, you know, like the modern parents out of Viz comic a few years ago. All their clothes are like organic cotton. They got long, unkempt hair. He's got a beard. She's got her hair in dreadlocks, and they smell of fucking piss. And they're all for the climate change. They've got a little note outside there on their window in their house saying they're all for net zero climate change. But I'll bet you good money they drive a fucking Land Rover or something. Bloody hypocrites. Anyway, that's what I think. Please let me know what you think in the comments. 
And you can join my channel if you want. I have channel memberships. Each level comes with its own perk. It's uh, cheap as chips. You don't have to, it's not mandatory, but it's there if you want it. Just ask these lovely people right here. And that's it. So until the next video, comment, share, subscribe, and Roger Trout.